Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, wanting to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Cassian Andor from the Aldani mission in the earlier arc of the show. This is a Walmart exclusive figure here in the United States. It's been available for a little bit, but uh, I finally tracked it down and just decided it was time to pick it up. I'm not going to be getting too many of the Andor figures. A lot of them don't really strike me as super toyetic, but... I always do kind of like our heroes in disguise, and I'm actively redoing my shelves at the moment, and I think he would just be kind of a cool figure to sneak into the Imperial shelf, same as I'm going to do with my Han and Luke and Stormtrooper armor. So, just a little uh, little idea I've had. So, I'm going to, I got him mostly for that, but let's review him. He looks like a pretty interesting figure, so yeah, let's get into it. You all know the drill by this point. This is our standard windowed packaging, which is being phased out. You got your Black Series logo up top. Big window showing Cassian and his blaster off well. Andor and orange across the front. Cassian and Andor Ardani mission warning. 4 plus Hasbro. This side of the box features wraparound artwork of Cassian looking stoic and imperial garb. His name and his mission outfit again. This side features wraparound window, wraparound stripe, Black Series logo. This side features a zoomed in look at the artwork his of uh, the Black Series logo, his name. A bio about Cassian in varying languages, pause and read, whichever applies to you. He is number one in the Andor line. There's a bunch of legalese in your Disney Hasbro logos, barcode, more legalese, little window at the top to let some light in the package should you leave your figures on display in box, which I don't do because I'm not a loser. I open my toys. Also a little hanger tab for potential display options as well. I'm going to go ahead and open them up and take a look at what we get here. So here we have them. My boy Clem. God, that was such a rough name. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Aldani Mission Cassian, neat-looking figure. There's a bit of reuse going on here, a bit of new, but let's start with our accessory first. So, this accessory is reuse from the Death Trooper figures. It is just that kind of newer uh, Imperial, you know, pistol design, looking really good. I like the nice scope up top. Very much looks the part. He features a working holster. The scope does not go into the holster. It just slides alongside but then the blaster works its way in it's a little snug but you know it's nice and secure it's not going anywhere either um one thing i'm not keen on is his hand doesn't really hold it very well his uh, trigger finger is just a bit big for the uh, trigger guard when you get it all lined up it's not really in his hand like it needs to be more down but it kind of just wants to spring itself up and uh yeah so it's okay it does the part he uh, also really only points it when he is not looking down it um so you know it's forward now but like if you try and like get him to you know be looking down at it, it's wanting to like curve in and there's just no real winning i guess you're really kind of forcing it but it's all right it uh can be finagled and worked with Looking at our head sculpt here, I gotta say, I really see it. This is a really solid Cassian likeness. This is one of the very few times where I kind of agree with people talking about the shininess of the uh, face decos. I mean, I hear people say, it's too shiny on everything. And no, the majority of them are fine. This one definitely does have a little bit of a glistening effect to it. However, considering he was pulling off the impossible in this outfit and you know, doing an Imperial raid of that scale. I can forgive him for being a little sweaty, I suppose. Um, something else, I don't know if it was necessarily on purpose. The uh, hat doesn't seem to be on truly straight. Like, uh, the brim's, you know, cocked up a bit. But then the uh, silver, you know, medallion crest thing in the center seems to be a little off-center. I don't know if mine, just the hat is just glued on slightly crooked. Personally, I kind of like it. You know, he looks like a guy you know, who's just kind of like put this thing on to do a mission, not necessarily someone that takes pride in wearing it. So I don't know. I mean, it's, maybe I'm looking very, very deep into something that's not there, but I'm personally happy with it. Spinning him around, you see some very nice hair texture, oops, coming out from around the hat. Um, this is reuse from the Han Solo Stormtrooper body for parts of it. You see the pegs up there for the hoses, um, for the mask that that figure required. Um, but that reuse is just the arms, I believe it's the arms, pretty sure the arms, and the upper torso, everything from the lower torso down is new. I 
do strongly believe. Um, another figure that had a lot of reuse from that was the Season 2 Migs Mayfeld. And you know, as you see from the waist up, he's the same, but from the waist down, he's different. Um, and something that Cassian did get is new legs. You can tell because he has the pinless articulation there. Um, whereas the older figure, bringing in Migs, um, does have pins there. Meaning Mando in that outfit will also likely have pins next wave. So, which is just what you get for reusing some of these older bodies. Sometimes things happen. So... I mean, looking him over, I mean, he is a guy in a army green khaki colored outfit with some black armor pieces slapped on. You know, he's got some muddy boots. He's been out in the field. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I wish I could say there was something super duper exciting going on here, but there's truly not. It's just Cassian in a imperial soldier type garb, you know, and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but, uh. And that's one of the issues with Andor, I've kind of felt, is, like, a lot of the outfits are just clothes. You don't really get a ton of, like, really unique armors or super cool things. Just, it's a lot of guys in military cloth. And that's fun a bit, but it definitely doesn't make for a great toy. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not really looking for them to make the rest of his squad that all got gunned down or anything using this body mold. I think this would be fine. So, he's a pretty solid addition on his own. Looking at our articulation, he does feature a double barbell. Oops, a double barbell neck. However, his hair down on the collar really only allows him to look that far up. He can go that far down, which is pretty good. And you get rotation, pivot, all you could ever ask for. His arms can come up to uh, basically a T-pose, maybe just a hair shy. 360 at the shoulder, no butterfly joints. Single jointed elbows, but can go... Pretty far past 90, and then rotate, maybe just a little bit past 90, not pretty far past. One thing I found is that the arm joints on this, this is rare with Black Series, can actually bend backwards at the elbow. So uh, you can actually like break the uh, seam, nice seamed look of that joint. If you get it nice and straight, you almost don't even see it. So there you go. Uh, 360 rotation on the wrist, lefty hinging in and out, righty hinges up and down however the cuffs of the sleeves go so far past the pin of the wrists that it really hinders those so i'm not really keen on that he features a mid torso ball joint allows him to crunch that far forward really far back i mean that's brilliant he has a rotation and some really good pivot his legs can kick basically all the way out really far forward a little bit back upper thigh rotation Single jointed knees that can go just a hair past 90 and rotate at the knee. There's a boot cut. It's kind of pointless with the knee articulation, but it's there. And then the feet can point basically straight down, really far forward. And there's a forward-facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get some pretty wide stances with both feet flat on the ground. Getting Cassian back into a somewhat neutral standing position for some size comparisons. How about we bring in the Target Andor Shore Trooper? Most of these troopers clock pretty well at six foot as a standard height, so having him be just a touch over Cassian seems rather accurate. And then how about our uh, photo reel upgraded Cassian from Rogue One? So yeah, as you see, the Cassian's clock at about the same height. I'm overall rather happy with this. He scales nicely. So, end of the day, what do I think of the Aldani Mission Cassian? Uh, honestly, I think it's a solid figure. It's one that I'm happy to have. Like I said, I bought it with a purpose in mind. Um, and if you don't have a purpose in mind for it, I could understand if maybe there's a little bit of struggle about deciding whether or not to pick it up. Um, I am happy I have it. I don't think it's a must-have for the collection, let's be fair. It's an outfit that he wore in one or maybe two episodes of the show. And, uh, you know, I mean, while it is one of the better arcs in the show, you know, I understand if it's one that you choose to not pick up. Um, that's the appeal of the store exclusive, I guess, is that it's only going to sit at one location and then it doesn't bother you on all of your hunts. But yeah, it is a solid figure and I'm personally happy I have it, <clears throat> but I get if you choose not to. Um, going forward... I can't promise you a ton of Andor figure reviews. I would like to just be open here. Um, as was mentioned, Andor is not a very toyetic 
line. It's a lot of people in clothes. Um, a lot of the characters in Andor, I personally didn't click with. Um, here's my little moment of Andor bashing. I didn't super like the show. I thought it was okay. You know, it was just, uh, it was one of the lower shows. It was fine to watch. I watched it every Wednesday, and uh, I was happy to watch it. And now that it's done, I'm like, okay, it's done. You know, waiting for season two. Um, so I'm going to end up getting Mon Mothma, not because I want a Andor Mon Mothma, but because I want a Mon Mothma to put on my Return of the Jedi shelf. And the red jacket Cassian I don't care about. He didn't wear that outfit basically at all in the series after the first couple episodes. And I don't care about a, a Bix. I don't care about Luthen. I just, I don't need to spend the money. So I'm going to be passing on the Andor line. I may end up getting the Imperial Officers, just because I do like a good officer, but I'm kind of holding out on a deal. I see the Ferrex Officer just sitting all the time at Target. I'm kind of expecting a clearance there, so that'll be that. The Walmart one hasn't shown up at stores yet, and is currently in stock, available from Walmart on their website for a marked up $41 and change, so that's not happening. I, I will not... I wouldn't buy that one for the 27 and change that the store exclusives are averaging. You know, so anyway, that's where I'm at. That's my thought process. So yeah, I might end up getting these store exclusive figures, but that's about where I'm going to end with the Andor range. So that's where I'm at. Thanks for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. I'm going to go get to work on some other videos. So until next time, may the force be with each and every one of you. Bye.